Hi guys, and um, just thought I'd do this video today because um, people with bipolar disorder, they sometimes struggle having or holding down relationships. And uh, I had a question a while ago from somebody on one of my YouTube videos who asked me to do a video about bipolar people and relationships. And I've struggled with this one. And the reason why I struggled with this one is because I have a wife who I've known for 23 years and I have two beautiful children. And I've managed to hold that relationship down pretty well. But I do know that there's a lot of people out there who struggle to form relationships uh, or struggle to keep relationships especially with uh, boyfriends girlfriends husbands wives and things like that so I just I mean this video is twofold really because one I want to say like because of my circumstances and the fact that I have bipolar disorder and I've managed to hold down that relationship that there is hope, it can be done, but it does take a special kind of person. And we all hope that that special person is out there. So I do hope that anybody who, who do struggle with this has that. Now, that's my personal life, my, my immediate family. But I've got an extended family. I've got a mum, a dad, brother, sister, uh, who I have struggled to maintain relationships with. And it's really, really tough sometimes because you often wonder to yourself, is it my fault? What am I doing wrong? Um, can I do something better to, to maintain those relationships? And as far as I'm concerned, I couldn't. I mean, I tried my hardest to, to have relationships with my family, but I don't blame my bipolar disorder for, for the breakdowns of those relationships. Now that might seem strange, but you know, having bipolar disorder means you have a mental illness, but it means you're, you have an illness and people that you surround yourself with, they need to respect, right, the fact that you're ill. If you had a broken spine and you couldn't walk and you were in a wheelchair, they would all rally around you, you know, to make sure that your life was the best possible life you could lead. No matter how miserable you became, no matter how grumpy you became because you couldn't walk, you know, bipolar disorder and other mental illnesses means we have something broken in our brains you know just because you can't see the brokenness doesn't mean it's not there and i i learned this a long while that you know people in life can be toxic and those toxic people you need to cut them out even if it's your mum even if it's your dad even if it's your wife or your husband or your lover whatever if they're toxic to you and they hurt your mental health then you need to cut them out of your life and that's what I've done I've cut my mum out of my life I've not spoken to her now for 18 months um, my family would probably argue that my mum actually cut me out of my life um, which really is quite true actually it was that way around but I've come to realize that I don't actually need that in my life and if you've got good friends they can be just as in, as is important to you as blood relations you know it's not always about blood. Everybody says blood's thicker than water, your family should come first. But if your family aren't giving you the support that you need, then you need to let that go for your own health. 
So that's my take on relationships, really. And, you know, I thought I had no family out there. But my faith was restored today. And I had a wonderful, wonderful visit from my uncle, Eddie, uh, and my cousin, Paul. And I've not seen either of them for about 15 years. And it was an absolutely fantastic visit. Uh, and it was the kind of visit where it didn't matter that 15 years had gone past. The, um, the relationships that we had just picked up from where they left off. So, you know, it, sometimes it, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter about distance and it doesn't matter about length of time that you've not spoken to someone. If you've got people out there in your life that you can turn to, you know, that you know you can rely on, you pick up that phone, get in touch with that person because honestly, it can be the best experience that that you could ever have and the, I know now that I've seen those two and I know my Auntie Sue who's part of that family who, who I'm going to see again very soon uh, you know she's kept in contact with me as well uh, and you know they're my uncle my cousin and my auntie they're not my immediate blood relation as far as my mum and my dad are concerned but they're more they mean more to me in my life now that than my parents ever could and that's probably a sad thing to say but it's a true thing to say so everybody's got the chance to rekindle relationships that have been distant for long periods of time you know just be brave pick up that phone because it will really help and cut the toxic people out of your life you don't need them they're not good for you so really that's all i got to say on relationships um, I'm sorry I can't uh, you know divulge into the kind of interpersonal relationships that people want to have I, 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 I'm looking at relationships now. There's relationships that you hold down whilst you're mentally ill right now. Uh, and I've, I've been very lucky. So anyway, that's all I've got to say. And um, see you on the next video. Ciao.